¿Qué onda? This is Hector Canales bringing you another blast from the past. Now, this one's from June 23rd, 2013. And this one took place in Southgate, Los Angeles area, California, at AWS. Now, before we get to the match, I want to give you some info behind the scenes on what's really going on. And to help us out with that, I've got Ricky to tell us a little something. Is it too bright? No, I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. It's Ricky, the mirror image Mandel versus Hector, El Chido Canales. During this time, I had started doing this gimmick that really started taking off. Where I'd come to the ring wearing my regular trunks, black, red, or white. And somewhere in the middle of the match, I'd take them off and underneath, I'd reveal I'm wearing pink underwear or pink trunks. And all of a sudden, with that reveal, I transform. And if I put the other ones on, I basically turn into the character that I was portraying with those trunks. If I was wearing the black ones, I was really tough. If I was wearing the white ones, I was pure white meat baby face guy. But if I was wearing the pink ones, woo! For this match with Ricky, I really wanted to try out something new. Then I also thought, but what if Ricky put on my pink tights? What would happen then? Well, enough of me talking. For the first time ever, I'm actually going to have one of my competitors speak on the match. Take it away, Ricky. So a couple things I remember about this match. For myself, personally, it was one of my first AWS matches, and what made it comfortable was working with Hector, somebody who I trained with and a very good friend of mine. Going into the match, I knew we were gonna do some storytelling, which is my favorite type of match. Now, with Hector, he's a creative genius, so he could come up with all sorts of random stuff. Well, on this occasion, he came up with a very interesting story. And the things I remember about this particular story was he wanted to transform into uh, multiple characters. So he was going to be like kind of dancey, kind of flirty Hector, blah, 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 and then go into straight lace Hector and then jump into the Superman character. Well, as he had the pink trunks on for the, the flirtatious character and, you know, whatever, flamboyant, I guess, um, he decided, hey, let's do this angle where you take the... the, the tights off and try to I guess I would see what the big deal was about these these magical trunks like okay because uh, he was beating me up this whole time so the idea was to for me to put them on and then I would turn into you know just like basically being his character at the time um, but like to be honest I, I I don't know if it was that I didn't get the, the concept I think I got it but I was trying to play this like this, this typical straight-laced heel I'm the bad guy why would I take off your trunks and put them on and blah 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 but like he convinced me to do it because he's Hector um, so I do it and uh, yeah I mean it, it was it was a blast and the, the crowd got over I should just listen to him from the start and then the other thing that I recall vividly because I, I had to hold back from laughing so hard. I ended up throwing the, the trunks under the ring to get rid of them. He goes under the ring. I think he's going to get them. I mean, here comes Hector dressed as Superman, and with the Superman music playing, and he's doing the pose, and he looked like a million bucks, you know. That's kind of what I remember about this match, and just having a really good time. And, and sometimes you just gotta, you know, think outside the box and do what your friends tell you. He really loved wearing those pink tights. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Here we go. Introducing first, from Sexy Beach, California, playing in at 100 I don't think so! And his opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Biggie Biggs from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Hector Canales!
And now setting up for one-on-one -on -one action between Hector Canales and Ricky Mendel. This is a pro wrestling match. Um, this um, technically this does not look like a pro wrestling match. This looks like something else. Um, technically, yeah, this is a wrestling brown match. Brown chicken, brown cow. Oh, God. Actually, this is a match of, this is a fight you can probably see happen on the streets of San Francisco or West Hollywood. Or Laguna Beach. But, um, well, despite the appearance of our Hector Canellis, Hector Canales really wants to wrestle Ricky. <laughs> really, really bad. <laughs> I mean, despite the mind, the mind games, the, du the Dustin Reynolds style mind games of Hector Canales, this man is actually a well accomplished wrestler, but he definitely toys with the minds of his opponents. <laughs> Hector is scanning him. Oh, he's a real man, all right. And Ricky Mandel, I don't know what, I don't think he knows what to make of this. And the funny thing is, these two have a history. Yeah. Not the kind of history you probably are thinking about right now. <laughs> these two used to be tag team champions. Oh, yeah. These two used to compete for a heavyweight championship over in San Diego. So these two know each other. Hopefully not. Oh, God. Oh, Hector oh. knows this guy definitely very Oh, God. Well, they know each other, all right. Oh, I got nothing to say about this. I got nothing to say. Um, the, vi the good vibrations, I guess you could call it, by Hector Canales. Southern California Wrestling! <laughs> and, uh, and Ricky Mandel jaw jacking with the fans now. Trying to figure out a way to start up this matchup. One thing is for sure, question his motives, one thing is for sure, Hector is being loved by the crowd right now. He's loved pretty much everywhere he goes. <laughs> Actually, and Ricky seems to be wrestling now. A very smart thing to do. But, um, but I think just the, I think that's I think that's what he probably has to resort to is just straight up brawling rather than wrestling. Is Hector screaming like a girl? Hector is screaming like a girl. Yeah, he was screaming like a girl. All right. Oh, by Hector. At least right over. Oh, 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 by Hector. Nice, now he looks like he's. All right. Now we. Oh. And we're back to this. Normally, any time that Hector gets into the ring, he kind of has two different personas. Kind of uh, personified by the tights that he wears. But I think on this match, we just cut right to the chase. And now Biggie is actually getting into this match now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, wait, don't, don't tell him. Ricky, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, wait, uh, uh, Ricky. Take those off and uh, wrestle like a man. Don't tell. Don't tell Hector to take off his trucks. But, oh my goodness. Ricky, you're a former heavyweight champion in California, and you asked him to take his his wrestling gear off. Uh, don't do say that. that. It, uh, oh. Wait, what? Oh my. My heart almost jumped out of my chest for a second, but now he's rocking some different some different trunks right underneath the pink ones. These are normally the ones that he would start a matchup with. And now Ricky Mandel now taking it to Hector Canales. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Hector took off those pink tights, and now he's all of a sudden acting like a man. Um, is it, does he have like a jock, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde? I, yes, I believe so. It's normally personified by the trunks that he wears. I got a, like I spoke earlier, yes, I mean, he would normally come out to the ring and start his matchup with tights very close to the ones he has on right now, to picking the words El Chido, or Ch Chido, or however you pronounce it. Now Canal. Mandel. And then, oh! Shot to Hector Canales. First play to chop serve tonight. And now Mandel looks to be in full control. Oh, not, not anymore. There he, oh, oh my God! That's how you shot. Head smash in the other corner. That's gonna mature the ring. Oh, oh another shot. Nice one. And the crowd steadily behind Hector Canales. Now, what? That's not the very good place to be, one. And now an Espanol lesson by the Southgate faithful. And oh! Ricky, you just got caught. You got tea bagged in the face. <laughs> Normally it's that's reserved for pornographic films or a Halo game online, but... Or Call of Duty, or Call of Duty. Wait. 
Amanda. Oh, 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 to the face. Right to the chin. And now for the cover one, two, and oh, two count. And Hector Canal is a very resilient athlete, a hell, a hell of a lot of stamina and endurance, so just a regular boot to the face is not going to take him out. But don't take anything away from Ricky. Ricky's also a big dude. Oh, yeah. And that's going to be the best shape of his life. And that elbow's up. Is there any way to be in a better shape than that? Uh, perhaps, but it's not natural. <laughs> and, <laughs> And let me get some uh, beauty advice from someone in the audience. But uh, oh, nice headlock! Grounding the head, the head to Canal is making him fight for each and every breath. Well, Mandel tried to take a breather as Canal is making his way back up to his feet. And he's back up. Now Canal is trying to fight his way out of this. Nope. Mandel catches him on the knee, right to the gut. And I see Mandel with a beautiful snap suplex. He goes back up. And Two. I kick out the floor, that counts of three. Oh, man, man. And, and Mendel. You know, Ricky, pissed. if you put more if you put more of your energy into beating the crap out of Hector than whining at the ref, maybe you could win this match a lot quicker. Right on there, Mikey. A lot of wrestlers have a very bad problem of doing that. They let their emotions get the head of them inside of a match. That's what happens when you get cocky. <laughs> you see what I did there? Cocky. <laughs> I'm sure we can bleep that out. <laughs> and now Canal is trying to fight for the ropes. Nice stay bear hug by it. And I'm questioning if Hector is still in pain or is getting frisky. I mean, he looks like he's reaching for his trunks. Now yeah, he looks like he's in pain to stop. Because the ropes are right behind him. He can very well turn around and grab him. It looks like he's trying to reach for his big tights. Canal trying to fight his way back into this. And, oh, wow. Nice coming oh, shot right to the top. Oh. And the canal is playing his way back into this one. And, oh, and oh. Ricky Mandel with that hair pull. And Canelo's head just ricocheted off the mat like a damn bullet. And Mandel looks to be back in control. Trying to figure out how the hell to take out Hector Canales now. And now he's not taking the best route right now by smacking and screaming at his opponent. Canelo's trying to make his way back up to his feet. And, and now Mandel has the uh, pink trucks. He has the alter ego in the palm of his hand. I think that, naturally, now that I think about it, that might actually be Hector Canelo's. What are you doing? Now he's putting on his What are doing? That's, um, I don't know any man on the face of this planet that would wear that oh God, combination wait, 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 of pants. Ricky. Oh, no. Ricky, oh, my God. What am I watching? The pink what truck, am I watching? The pink trucks are taking over the psyche of, of, of Ricky Mandel. Thank Christ. And, and he disposes of the pink chites. You can throw them in the crowd. They made for a good souvenir. That thing is like the Majora's Mask. You should never wear those. Yeah, Mandel is leaving, leaving the ring. Where's he going? Oh, he just tossed the pink tights under the ring. That's probably not the smartest thing to do because I would say that Hector's more dangerous than this persona. Or not. And Hector's trying to re this re recover back his belongings. And, and uh... Well, what the heck? Oh, they're pulling out of the... And both Mendel and Canelo are crawling underneath the ring. What is this music? It's the reason the, the Superman theme is playing. Well, Ricky Mandel just ran up and went underneath the ring, and Canellis is still nowhere to be seen. And oh my goodness! Are Hector you kidding me? Hector Canellis emerges from underneath the ring and is for Canellis! Oh my God! Super Canellis! It's about to get real. It's about to get really real. The Man of Steel has now entered the ring under the persona of Hector Canellis. And then Mandel tries to oh, oh my god, he goes down with one punch. And there's another punch with the clothesline. And then he goes for a body slam. Oh. He just keeps him there. Oh. And then he another body slam. And now Hector Canales looks like he's ready to fly. A flying body splash. Oh! He scores with a splash. And now hanging up the, hanging up the cape. 
And now Hector with the free amigo. Now pops the hit one. There's two. He's unfortunate. Could he get the last one? And Wait, no. Oh, he rings out the arms. Kick right to the gut. And a couple of uh oh, hey, master. And takes about one, two, and oh, he kicked out off before the count of three. After that series of maneuvers, I'm surprised that he, that Mandel was able to kick out of that. And transformations, do not forget that. <laughs> we went from a, a very happy Hector to a very tough Hector to a very super Hector. I don't even think that Mick Foley, well, yes, actually he did that during a Royal Rumble back in 1998, but beyond that, I've never seen something like that. First off, it was ring. 1997. Secondly, I thought it was eight. Okay, no, 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 or seven, excuse me. <laughs> you know, I, I really don't know at this point. I'm just distracted <laughs> by the hecklers. Cover the hits. <laughs> and I kick out before I count. And Ricky still can't believe it. He needs to stick to the task at hand, or he's going to end up losing this. Find match. some kryptonite. A kryptonite. I don't know if you'll be able to find kryptonite here in this part of California. You could in the toilet. Oh, that's true. I guess it depends what you ate that day. Nakanella thrown into the corner. And Dell uh, get, getting a little bit of distance. And a jaw jacking with the fans once again. And oh! Catches a boot to the cheek. And that was a steel kick. That was a steel kick. A steel kick. That's why I didn't knock out any teeth. Look out for the ceiling, Hector! Okay, he's gonna fly! Oh, One, two, two, and three! Hector! Super Hector wins the match! What a match! What a super match! <laughs> a super duper match! Mighty Ricky Mandela's falling at the hands of Hector Canales. And, uh, <laughs>